Dream Girls stars Jamie Foxx, Beyonce Knowles, Eddie Murphy, Danny Glover, Anika Noni Rose, Keith Robinson, Henson Battle, Sharon Leal, and it is the acting debut of Jennifer Hudson. And this is based on the classic, well known production Broadway musical from 1981 of the same name by Henry Krieger and Tom Ann. And this movie is basically a work of fiction taking inspirations from the history of Mo the Motown record label and one of its acts, The Supremes. But the basic story of this movie is we is takes place in Detroit and it follows the history and evolution of of American R&B music during 1960s and 1970s through the eyes of the Detroit Michigan girl group and the three girls in this group Dina, Effie, and Laurel played by Beyonce Knowles, Jennifer Hudson, and Anika Noni Rose form a music trio called the Dream Mets and they have their little writer, which CC played by Keith Robinson, who is Effie's brother. And they do the talent show one night, and they don't win the amateur talent show contest. But ambitious manager Carlos Taylor Jr. he spots the act at a talent show, and he offers the girls a chance of a lifetime to be backup singers for a national star who goes by the name of James Thunder Early or Jimmy Early for short. So then, once they take the deal, Taylor he takes creative control of the group and eventually pushes the singers into the spotlight, taking them from back up singers to giving them their own act and calling them the dreams however one star one becomes a star Dina forcing another one out and it teaches them about the high cost of fame and the prices that they have to pay dream girls is a fantastic film I love dream girls I've loved this movie ever since I first saw it when my mom first got the very first copy of this movie back in 2007 when it came out on DVD. It came out in theaters in 2006. And this movie, this was well, well anticipated. A lot of people were anticipating this musical film and this is one of my favorite musicals and this movie you can see why this movie was anticipated and they tried different attempts since the 1980s and 1990s with Geff, David Geffen and doing his own with his own company and Whitney Houston wanting to play demon and win some problems then it went to DreamWorks and they it didn't get off the ground again until 2005 where after Chicago won an Oscar and this was a dream con project of the, the film director Bill Condon who directed Gods and Monsters the last two Twilight movies and of course recently Beauty and the Beast 2017 now much of the musical story from the stage play remains intact but there's a lot of changes made the hometown the setting for much of the action they moved from Chicago to Detroit and they made a lot of and the roles of many characters were related more closely to the real life inspirations and DreamWorks and Paramounts they they decided to take the film and under one umbrella and they gave this movie the budget of 8 million dollars which therefore makes this movie the most expensive film with an all black cast Starring in re with recent cinema history. 
and this movie earned 155 million in the international box office and this got a number of awards three awards of the Golden Globe Awards which and two Oscars which Eddie Murphy he was nominated and I felt like he should have won and then one of them which I'll get to now there were song the songs from the play are in the film but a couple songs are second out you have overall songs including I'm looking for something going downtown taking the long way home move fake your way to the top Cadillac car seven to the bad side look I want you baby family dream girls heavy it's all over love me baby I'm not I'm telling you I'm not going I'm somebody when I first saw you I'm changing I meant you no harm Lord, all the songs including four new songs they have to write for the film with Beyonce taking part in doing one of them now those four new songs of course are love you I do patience perfect world and listen and all of these new songs were written by the living stage composer Henry Krieger because the lyricist Tom Ian he died in 1991 and there were several minutes worth of musical footage deleted due to the negative audiences reactions and test screenings over the amount of music including the song reunion Effie sang my song which is replaced by alternate spoken version I don't know why that didn't they could have easily kept that in but there is a director's cut that came out last month on blu-ray on October 10th and it runs 10 minutes longer and features longer musical numbers including verses and cut during test screens additional scenes and songs and critical and celebrity reaction was really good the critics liked the film there were some critics who weren't very keen on it and there were a lot of people from the original show who did like the film and there was a lot of emotion surrounding it and the cinematography in this movie is great. I love the cinematography in this film. I like the stage lighting, the way each dance scene is choreographed. And there's a lot of heart put into it. The production design by John Muir is really great. I really love the, the way the dance choreography is done and the way each dance number is e edited and each dance number is edited fantastically well I, you can tell that they put a lot of work into the into this movie and you can tell this is a dream project for its director because it shows and especially the way step into the bad, bad side later on when it gets to Jimmy and the, the three girls singing it the way it's edited with all the dancers and right next to them it, it's like every single dance number and musical number in this film is edited with care and this movie has a fantastic cast it's, Jamie Foxx, who originally turned it down, but came into the movie once Beyonce and Jamie Foxx. I mean, Beyonce and Eddie Murphy signed on to do it. Danny Glover is great in this movie. Anika Noni Rose is great in this film. I like her relationship with um, Jimmy, even though Jimmy's married. Jamie Foxx as Curtis Stanley Jr. Jamie Foxx is a great actor and after winning the Academy Award and Ray Charles yeah yeah this is a great, great choice for Curtis Taylor Jr. Beyonce is Dina Jones she is great I love her character love her performance 
Keith Robinson as the brother, CC, he's great. You got Sharon Leo as Michelle. You got one of the act, two of the actors from the main, original Dream Girls production, Loretta Devine and Hinton Battle. Loretta Devine plays the jazz singer that shows up later on in the film. Henson Battle plays Wayne, who's the salesman and the henchman of Curtis. Eddie Murphy is great. He's funny in this movie, and he, I like how his character is inspired by James Brown, Jackie Wilson, Mar Morgan Gay. I love love his character, and and um. He was nominated for an Oscar for his film, but he did win a Golden Globe for this film. So that's something, but he should have won his Oscar for this. Because he is great, especially when it gets to the part where he falls into depression, when his career is not really doing well later on into the film. But we gotta talk about Jennifer Hudson. You can't review Dream Girls and not review, talk about Jennifer Hudson because. This was the most crucial casting choice. This was the most crucial casting choice because Effie is basically the emotional center of the story. And 783 singing actress auditioned for the part, including American Idol alumni Fantasia, Raven auditioned, Broadway stars auditioned, and Jennifer Hudson. She. She just came in and she kills it for her acting debut and she got an Oscar for this. She killed it in this movie. Every single scene she's in, every musical number she has, she kills it. Especially when it gets to, I'm telling you, I'm not going. That, she sung the heck out of that song. And they saved that song for the end of the shoot because they needed extra time and money to finish it because her voice would give out after four hours of shooting the musical number and she was unable to lip sync and then originally uh, Usher was going to play CC but he, he didn't want to do the movie and his negotiations with his contract failed because he couldn't dedicate half a year to the project and Outkast was also offered and Omarion was also offered but they also turned it down but Keith Robinson does a great job as the brother and some of my favorite songs in this movie of course the main song title song um, Listen, which is the song Beyonce sings, One Night Only, uh, Patience, which is a great song, I'm, um, Fake Your Way to the Top, Cadillac Car, Step Into the Bad Side, and I'm, and I'm telling you I'm not going, that's another one of my favorite songs in this movie. And the best part of this movie is Eddie Murphy <laughs> when he raps and also sings I Meant You No Harm. But when he sings Jimmy Got Soul, every time he got to that part, I will always start singing that both of those songs. And I still do, but not as much as I used to. But overall, there's not really much I have to complain about. And you also got some other cast members cameo, including John Livgo and John Krasinski. I didn't even know it was John Krasinski at first until I looked it up and looked at the cast. And then you got Jaleel White as the talent booker, Yvette Nicole Brown as the secretary of Curtis. It's a very big cast. I could go on and name a lot of this cast, but it's too many to name. And they did respect the story, and they respect this this property and this Broadway play. And the film is only two hours and ten minutes long. But like I say, you should have kept the Effie Sing My Song reunion in 
I like the dialogue version of it, but I will love to see the actual singing version of it. Maybe if I do end up probably seeing the director's cut of Dreamgirls some way, somehow, maybe I'll even boost the grade up even more than this already is, but there's just so many great things in this movie. They did take some songs out, but just overall a great film this movie is and dream girls not a lot more i can say about it about it this is just a fantastic film and i will definitely give dream girls because I, I have to give this movie this rating if i don't give this movie this rating then i am not then i'm not gonna forgive myself and the original score and arrangements are done very well by Stephen Trask. If I don't give this movie this grade, I'm not going to forgive myself. But Dream Girls definitely will get my Joshua Drake silver. No, scratch that. My JD bronze sil. Rainbow Seal of Approval because that is how great this movie is. And this only came a movie from 2006 and still holds up. Still one of my favorites of all time and one of my favorite musical films and one of my favorite musical adaptations of a Broadway play. I've gone on for 17 minutes about, the, about this so I'm just going to go ahead and end it. By saying let me know what you guys think about dream girls down below do you like it do you hate it I don't know who would hate this movie of course or if, unless or if you ain't into musicals but what is your favorite part of the movie what is your favorite song from the film and I guess that's it. I will see you guys in the next review on the Future Filmmaker 39480 channel. The, let's continue the road to 1,000 subscribers. And you guys, as always, keep it cool. Be sure to follow all my social media links, and I'll see you guys. Until then. Future Filmmaker 2940 is signing out. Bye.